you know, your child yells, help mommy. So at this point, I will let you guys watch the rest of the vlog from the beginning and bring you back to real time. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. You don't want to be in it, right? I'm not putting you. Okay. <laughs> anyway, guys. So, but I want to catch you guys back up to real time. So it's been four days that we've been in the hospital. As you can see in my previous vlog, which I'll link down below, um, we had an amazing vacation. Trinity got sick on that vacation. I ended up calling her uh, the on-call pediatrician while I was down there to send in some medication for her, for her respiratory issues. But um, she started to get better and then she started to decline really quickly. So um, the morning that we were packing up to leave, um, she was having some pretty significant respiratory issues not as severe that we had to take her to the hospital there we were able to make it back home which is my preference because I knew it was sickle cell related just being a nurse and knowing my child um, but I did not think that she was going to end up having double pneumonia so yeah she has double pneumonia mixed in with acute chest syndrome literally we got home took our stuff out the car and got right back in the car to bring her to the emergency room I am, listen, my husband, he surprised me when I was asleep. I was sleeping. Trinity had been sleeping too in the beginning. He brought my Bible. He brought my journal. Um, I just thought that was the sweetest thing. So I've been reading stuff in there, just trying to stay prayed up and stand faithful to God, like for real, for real in my life, like for real, for real. The worse things are, the more I want to run to God. That's just kind of where I am right now in my life and what I want to do for the rest of my days. So We've been, we've been staying really positive throughout this, um, but still afraid in some points, but God has just been taking that fear and turning it into faith, you know? And so that's where we are. You okay? Okay. So at this point, I will let you guys watch the rest of the vlog from the beginning, and then um, bring you back to real time.
mom guilt right now. I wanna go home tomorrow so that I can get some sleep. I'm exhausted. I didn't get any sleep on our vacation because Trinity was sick and I'm not getting any sleep here and I feel like I'm irritated and today I'm just a mess. I'm also just really sad because Trinity had some complications and she had a few tests today. She has to have some more tests tomorrow and some other like lung specialist came in for people that are like a little bit more critical and sorry y'all I'm in the north I'm in the nourishment room and I don't want her to see me like this but like I just have like so much mom guilt because I want to go home like I don't want to go home but I want to go home because I'm not getting any sleep and I'm sad and just seeing my baby like this it just it's 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 heartbreaking like i don't want to see her like this and i just feel like i can't take it and you know your child yells help mommy you know like it's just too much so thankfully the test came back for her heart today that that was good and i praise god for that you know i almost didn't because i'm just so scared i'm just scared because like you know like I just despite the way the world is and I'm trying to grow spiritually to be better and more faithful to God like I'm like I just I just can't imagine life without her like right now like like ever but especially I just don't I'm just like all these things are going through my mind like especially like right now I just can't take it I don't feel like I can take it so yeah that's where I am hey guys I just wanted to update you real quick today is July 1st it is about 4 p.m. I am actually gonna be headed home when Trinity comes back I have to go home today. Um, I just have to. I thought I was going to be able to stay and I prayed about it because I felt so guilty. Um, and Trinity de doesn't want me to leave, but she was in so much pain all of a sudden. She started having a pain crisis um, on top of everything else when we thought she was kind of out of the woods. So she is not. So she's downstairs with my husband getting a CT scan. I'm gonna go home and get some rest for the next 24 hours and then come back since he's off. I'm not hungry, I'm not eating. I'm irritable, like, not irritable like in a bad, bad way, but like internally my spirit just is not right. I am so exhausted. I'm not gonna vlog any more of any of this right now. I will um, pick you guys back up when we are headed home, whenever that may be. so i know that this video wasn't i wasn't doing too much talking but today is july the 6th it's a thursday we just came back from trinity's follow-up appointment um she was discharged from the hospital on monday the day before fourth of july which was great we got a chance to see the fireworks sit outside our neighbors were battling it was great the fireworks were so so pretty so we got a chance to get out trinity enjoyed that um but yeah we saw the lung specialist today and we have an entire plan to help heal her lungs her lungs are still damaged because they were already damaged from when she she hadn't fully recovered from her hospital stay in october this particular incident was you know really bad as well you know she had 
they were on the brink of sending her to ICU and things like that. It, it was just really bad. She had double pneumonia. So she's still struggling with her breathing at home. I'm um, not struggling, but different. She's very different um, and she's not her usual self and she hadn't been since October. So she can't go to work for a while, at least a month. Um, and even then, it, it's a lot. So anyway, the point is, I just wanted to update you guys before I close out this vlog. We are now back home. We're gonna chill. Just trying to decompress. So I've deleted all of my social media apps except for YouTube because I just don't, I just wanna disconnect from the world to be quite honest and spend time with my husband and my daughter and just stay connected with them. You know, it's kind of a lot that goes into when you have trials and challenges and traumatic events that happen in your life as every traumatic event should, as every traumatic event should be, I feel like you should learn something from it and it should help you grow for the greater good. And I learned so much, so much was revealed to me during this particular trauma. And um, I'm so grateful to God. I'm so, so grateful to God for these little revelations, not even little revelations, These just these revelations that are supreme to me and helping me and helping to catapult me to my higher self. And, um, a lot of people don't get it. A lot of people don't understand it. For those of you that do, man, you know how how deeply affected for the good you are and how grateful you become. And you just have to disconnect from everything and everyone that doesn't nurture that. And so it's it's in the world we live in today, it's kind of hard to 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 be around people who understand that because everybody's so worldly no judgment or anything like that this is my journey and i'm still um i'm I, I still have worldly ways for sure but it's something that i'm trying to break free of and i'm still gonna have worldly worldly ways you know but um i'm trying my my very best to be as christ-like as I can be like um, I'm just craving connections with people who get that that understand that and um, yeah so like I said like when you have these traumas in your life things like that there's just so much stuff that doesn't matter there's so much stuff that 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 I can break free from so easily now there's so much stuff that doesn't affect me like it used to and I'm just I, 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 I pray to God and I'm like, man, like God, you are, you are so phenomenal. You are so amazing. And I'm so grateful for the traumas. By the grace of God, I wish I didn't have to go through everything that I went through as harshly as it has been occurring to me to get to this supreme place. But nevertheless, I'm grateful. So anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here.